just wanted to show some product here that I've been using since purchasing it. Uh, there's three versions of each element and, and a pro version with extra features. I'm not really on for doing reviews but just something I found extremely useful since uh, getting it and just wanted to show you guys around it and see if you think it's as useful as I do. Uh, it's a product called Aircraft Manager and Location Manager by Sonic Viz. And normally you get you know this grid view here which for me with my 243 installed planes starts just becoming a bit unwieldy yes you can use the text search but sometimes you just want a type of aircraft to fly and not any particular one in mind and this is so flexible that you can really use it in different ways um, so the main feature is you can tag aircraft here as favorites um, and obviously you can see how many you get in a view instead of what is it is here uh, eight in a view you got like 20 odd in a screen there um, so down the bottom corner I've got page three or four so you know, I've got four pages with all my 243 installed planes um, and then you can list by favorites I've tagged these already as favorites you can also just click any of the planes names and it quickly sorts all the favorites to the top of page one so these are all my favorites out of those so it brings them all to the top regardless of what they are but you can list link by categories list by category propeller planes That's page two it's on there page one airliners and so on but what I found most useful is the tags here which are only in the pro version which let you really quickly sort the list by whichever words you've put in those tags so you can twist it to your own needs very easily so I can think to myself I want to fly a yoke plane but I don't know what one so I can list it by the tags that I've added and there's all my yoke planes and I put one just to make this list more sort of dynamic I've put one yoke for my favourite yoke planes and then two yoke for other yoke planes there's only one, <laughs> 310R so yeah I can pick you know black square there 414 the Technem that I've just bought today or ultralights I want to fly an ultralight so even though it's categorised as propeller I've subcategorised it to what I think it is there you can put whatever you want in here, you just click in, you can type something new and then it lists alphabetically so you can be quite clever with how you arrange things but not only that, you've got then you can list by all of these headings so you can list by speeds if you're doing a group flight and you know people are flying something of around 120 kilometers an hour or you can go to here, yeah, page one so yeah, I could pick something around here or whatever um, and you can write notes this is picked, I think it just picked from somewhere from the description of the aircraft but you can click in there and write your own notes per plane and it stores that but by far for me the most useful column I've found for the way I use it is the tags that you get in the pro version so in there I've written how I want to list my planes out, for example, yoke, stick, warbird, glider, airliner, and then I can put a one in front or two and sub rank those so they appear in number order and then letter order first. So then you can bring all of that type to the top easily. And then when you click one, this is uh, where it gets clever. You can in the pro one you've got this extra button here so when you install it actually you know the first when you first come to this screen it defaults to this list view so generally now I don't even use the grid view at all anymore I've just forgotten that exists almost it comes straight to this and you can still text search you can put 152 in there and it will still works that way you can unfavorite something if you want. Um, just toggle it on and off. 
I've recently added this text font slider so you can have bigger fonts, smaller fonts and you can resize columns um, but yeah the pro one comes with this very very good feature if like me you constantly changing control profiles when you fly different types of planes in here is basically a repeat of let's get rid of the search term it's a repeat of all your aircraft same sort of list but in here it lists out your control inputs however many you've got plugged in up to 10 controllers can be managed and then for the ones that you want to assign to a specific plane you just create the profile as you would anyway if you probably got them and the names appear in here and you just assign what profile for what device you want per plane and just go through them all so here gliders so now if I change to a glider if you watch this space here if I change to the glider it switches all of those presets for me so it's gone from the Technum presets it's changed it to throttle with uh, throttle quadrant with no throttle gliders joystick control main flight controls which obviously is, I don't use the yoke but there's other switches on there I can use and the gliders throttle control which has got the uh, air brake on and so on and the same deal for all the different aircraft types that I've got so I've got mainly they're the same so you have to you know if you want them to switch back so now if I change back to uh, ultralight so it's changed this back to the main one instead of the gliders and so on but it just does all that switching for you you don't have to worry about it ever again it's just amazing so yeah that all comes with the aircraft manager pro so as mentioned before you can multi sort these columns see so for example you can sort by category first and then shift click speeds and it will list them in speed order within that category or any combination up to three things I think you can do so their altitude um, and each of these headings has got this icon here you can click and you can search within that column for specific phrases or so not equals not contain it's a very flexible search and if you hover over these titles you get little tool tips about what they do what they mean and there's a good help image like a guide image on the website you can see I'll put it on the screen here so you can feel free to pause it for a moment and have a read if you want but it's also on his website in the description uh, so this is the location manager so you get an extra button here on the world map and then you can add locations that you like that you use often or you like going from or just uh, points of interest or, or just custom locations with a coordinates doesn't have to be a specific spot it can be anywhere on the map and then you can just quickly jump straight to them uh, so for example you know you could just pick somewhere in the middle of nowhere and save that location and then that appears here as a custom and then you can add notes for what that means whatever makes sense for you you can tag them and then you can list by tags you can rank it by country similar to the aircraft manager you know all of these columns are resizable and, and sortable and you can tag them as favorites uh, so with the pro version you get 200 slots with the free one I think 10 slots with the free one just to test it out or just your 10 favorite places you can just quickly delete one if you want to make space for another one so now I can remove that one but just lets you very quickly jump around the map and start somewhere rather than having to search what it also comes with is an uh, extra toolbar in the game itself so once you've loaded into a flight you can jump to any of the other locations you've saved teleport there um, and you can also jump down to the ground so normally the custom 
waypoints start you in the air, but you can simulate starting cold and dark, although it's not really truly cold and dark, it's just uh, with the engine off, but you know, whether it's a field or an airport that doesn't have ramps or the sea, anything you want, so it's very flexible and just integrates so nicely into the, the front end here, similar to the aircraft manager. It's like it's part of the game really. Uh, he's a really, really good guy. Um, very, very responsive and attentive and um, keeps adding features to the product. It's something he started just, he's a flight semi hobbyist, so I think it's just something he saw that he needed for himself and thought he could make something out of it. And he's done really well to implement it as, as tightly as he has straight into the MSF menu system. It's pretty amazing, really. So yeah, that was all I really wanted to show you through and just uh, see if you guys can find a use for it because I certainly couldn't really live without it now. Uh, I'll put links to the store page in the description. Cheers guys.